Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video of the Electrical Guide. Today we're showing you how to ground boxes and cables. So, I've inserted two cables into this box. Uh, these are 14. Two cables, standard in a residential application. This is a standard box. And in the back of this box, you can see that we have one, two screws. Now those are for the ground wires. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your clamp at the back, which you can see in the center back here, with a screw in the bottom, is nice and tight so that your conductors won't slide out the bottom. Second thing you want to do is push your conductors down out of the way that you're not going to be putting around the screws at the back. So we're leaving the exposed copper at the top so that we can easily access and maneuver them. The third thing you want to do is notice on the back that we have the back sides of the screws. So you can see here that there's one sticking out farther and the one in the back there is almost all the way on this side. So I've loosened the one on the right already and it reflects that on the back. There's only a couple threads left grabbing here. Now the one closest to us has not been loosened yet. So you can see that it's sticking out of the back. So when you're doing this entire thing, keep your finger on the back of the screw so you can tell when you're loosening it exactly how loose to go so you can kind of feel that it's rotating and you can less and less and less on the back there now you don't want to be taking it out you just want to be loosening it as much as you can after you've loosened those screws you want to take these exposed wires and you want to push them into the back and wrap them around the screw in a clockwise manner, like so. Being careful to keep them inside these blades on the side, which are supposed to help keep the conductor firmly seated underneath the screw and not pinched on the side. Now by wrapping it clockwise, we are ensuring that as we turn the screwdriver, it's going the same way that the wire is wound pulling it in and making a fantastic tight connection on the back there. When it's done, it should look just like this. In the bottom, out the bottom. Nothing being pinched on the side and nothing loose and exposed up here. Now you'll be wanting to do these with both of the cables that you're bringing into your box. Each one must be bonded to the back of this device box. And you can usually cut one short because you can keep it nice and close to the back, leaving extra room for the rest, and leave one long so that you can bond your switch or receptacle or whatever else you may be installing to this box. So both of them will be bonded to the back. Only one needs to be bonded to your device. And that ensures that the ground is kept continuous throughout this entire system. Thanks for watching today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.